tomorrow I think we're going to vote on the um, immigration bill. One thing I would like to point out is that <clears throat> legislation is not required to do most of what needs to be done. It just requires will. So we're going to have a vote tomorrow, and it's just a vote to try to help, help your side politically on the border. I don't think it's going to work. The average number of people granted parole by the Trump administration and the, uh, the Obama administration was about 6,000 a year. Now, what is parole? It's executive authority granted by a statute that the executive, through the Secretary of Homeland Security, can parole people into the country on a limited basis based on a unique humanitarian need, somebody's mother's dying, or special benefit to the country, maybe a witness in a, in a case. That was used about 6,000 times a year under the uh, Trump-Obama administration. It has been incredibly abused. Since we last voted in February of this year on the bill that's going to be brought back up, 77,000 people have been paroled. There's not any change at all, and it's never going to change. So you could have demonstrated, the administration could have, taking this matter more seriously when brought up by our colleagues. Go back to the statute. You're abusing the statute. You're mass paroling people. You're waving them in. And we found that Mr. Barra, the man who's been uh, indicted for killing the, um, the young woman uh, in Georgia, is, was released through parole, not based on a humanitarian need or special benefit of the country, because El Paso was full. The man that's accused of killing Lake and Riley was let go by DHS because they had no place to put him, and he was paroled. That's not a statutory requirement. I am never going to vote for immigration reform until this administration proves to me they're serious about the job they have and are going to change the behavior. And apparently they're not going to change the behavior. It's getting worse, not better. 77,000 people paroled. Once you know that Republicans believe you abused the statute, we're supposed to, like, believe you're going to do something new if we change the law? It's not a law problem. It's an attitude problem.